What is going on guys? It's your boy Dylan the Villain and we are at WCW Hogwild. We have made it to Sunday, week 3 of January 97. It is WCW Hogwild in front of 75. We're in a sold out crowd at the Miami Orange Bowl. We are going to go ahead and start the pre-show and we open up with a tag team match as the Faces of Fear pick up a win against Public Enemy. And you know that the badass Mother Tucker naming submitted Johnny Grunge with the tugging death grip. Match got a 54. Barbarian 57. Ming with a 59. Johnny Grunge 45. And Rock and Rock with a 44. Ming and Barbarian got the tag team specialist one. Kyle Clark, Jerry Gage, Match of Boost, and Jimmy Hart did some good work at ringside. We go on to our other pre-show matchup. It is Hugh Morris, and he defeats Hugh, Huge Morris as he defeats Mortis in 1233 by submission. The match got a 48. I just want to see where the guy under the mask is at. I'm going to probably take the mask off of him and uh, start booking him doing some stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Match got a 48. Not bad. Not bad ratings. Both got a 46. Not bad. And we move on to our pre-show main event. And of course, Disco Inferno defeats Chono in 8.03. By pinfall with the last inch. Match got a 53. Disco Inferno with a 45. And Chono with a 54. Not bad. Not bad at all. But we're going to go ahead and start WCW Hog Wild. And of course, we open up the pay-per-view with a hype promo showing all the matches that are going to happen here tonight. Our main event will be Hollywood Hulk Hogan taking on Macho Man Randy Savage for the NWO World Heavyweight Championship. It's not the WCW Heavyweight Championship. Hogan wants it to be called the NWO Championship. And that's what it will be called. The NWO World Heavyweight Championship will be defended against Randy Savage here tonight. We will also see... Kevin Nash taking on Lex Luger. I don't know why it's the Giant, but it's supposed to be Lex Luger here tonight. We will also see Scott Hall taking on Dallas Diamond, Diamond Dallas Page. And we will see that cage match between Chris Benoit and Kevin Sullivan. We will go to our opening contest. Then it is Harlem Heat as they pick up their win from WCW Nitro. Against the amazing French Canadians, Burger T pinned John Rousseau, Jock Rousseau, with a Harlem hangover. I love that move. A front flip, leg drop off the top rope. That was always cool. Booker T and Stevie Ray with a 59. Carl Lett with a 51. And John Rousseau with a 50. Jock Rousseau with a 50. Burger T and Stevie Ray have great chemistry teaming together. They also have the tag team specialist. Color time and gave the match a boost. Colonel Robert Parker did some great wings. Did some good work at ringside. Along with Sister Sherry. And as we know, Stevie Ray and Sister Sherry have excellent chemistry together. Match got a 58. Not bad to open up the show. We move on to our next set. And it is Chris Jericho. And he comes out to the ring. As we've seen from WCW Nitro, Chris Jericho defeated Ultimo Dragon. Ultimo Dragon is leaving the company. So I took the belt off of him and gave it to Chris Jericho because I want to push Jericho. I love Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho comes to the ring and he goes, like I said on Monday Nitro, welcome to WCW Jericho Wild. He goes, tonight, all you idiotic fans, sit back and enjoy your hero, Chris Jericho, as he has an open challenge to any to any ass clown in the back who thinks they can take this title from me. So anybody in the cruiserweight division who thinks they can stand in the ring toe-to-toe -to -toe with Chris Jericho, get out here 
And this is your moment to shine. This is your spotlight to be on pay-per-view against one Chris Jericho. All of a sudden, Psychosis music hits. Lanny Poffo. Golly, Lanny Poffo. And uh, in a poor match, Chris Jericho defeats Psychosis by submission with a lion tamer. Chris Jericho makes defense number one of the WCW Cruiserweight title. Match got a 61. Jericho with a 67 and Psychosis with a 54. Lenny Poffo sucks as a road agent. I believe I took him off of being a road agent, but I guess I didn't. And Psychosis is looking very stale. We might have to do some stuff there. We go on to the next segment. And it is Buck Bagwell and his arms in a slink. And he goes, and we see Mean Gene Gogler, and Mean Gene's just like, Buff, you asked for this interview time. Oh, what, what, is, what is this all about? You, you, you have a match up next against Scotty Riggs. And Buff goes, well, unfortunately, I tweaked my elbow at a house show this past week. And unfortunately, I cannot compete tonight. And the crowd cheers. They're always like, yeah, woo, yeah. And he, he kind of looks mad a little bit. He's looking around. He's like, I'm sorry for all you fans who paid a hard, hard money to see me compete here tonight against my former partner, Scotty Riggs. But I will be 100% tomorrow night on Nitro. And I'll be happy to face him on Monday Nitro. And Mean Gene kind of sarcastically says, Oh, what a shame. What a shame we don't get to see that matchup here tonight. What a shame. Well, I, I wish you a speedy recovery, Buff, and uh, I hope that uh, you recover quite well. Buff's like, thank you, thank you. And then they go to the back, and Buff Bagwell looked good. We move on to our next segment. That segment got a 64. And it is Jeff Jarrett as he defends his, the, his newly won WCW World Television Championship against 1D Malingo. If Jeff Jarrett wins, y'all already read probably who won the match. If Jarrett Jarrett wins, he's in the horseman. But Dean Malenko defeats Jeff Jarrett by Smith and went to Jeff Jarrett Cloverleaf after Arn Anderson distracts Jeff Jarrett. He grabs Jeff Jarrett's leg or something like that. And Dean Malenko wins the WCW World Television Championship. What a shame. After the match, the four horsemen are on the stage as they celebrate with Dean Malenko and Jeff Jarrett looks defeated. This segment got an 86, and it gains some heat. We go on to the cage match. In a decent match, Chris Benoit defeats Kevin Sullivan in a cage match by submission. Puts him in a cross face, makes him tap out. Chris Benoit wins. Chris Benoit with a 74. Kevin Sullivan with a 61. The All About Woman storyline advances after the match. I believe I have a segment. No, I do not have a segment. Um, after the match... A uh, woman comes down and celebrates with Chris Benoit. This segment got a 72. Oh, okay. That's weird. Okay. Um, this segment got a 98. But we see a hype promo of Diamond Dallas Page and Scott Hall. And it shows their history together. As Diamond Dallas Page used to be Scott Hall's manager when he was the Diamond Stud. And it shows their friendship along the years, along with Kevin Nash being their friend. And it shows Kevin Nash and Scott Hall offering Diamond Dallas Page to join the NWO and Diamond Dallas Page turning them down. It shows them hitting the diamond cutter on Scott Hall. And this is how this matchup goes. And in an exceptional match, 82, not bad. Thought it was going to do a little bit better, but not bad. Diamond Dallas Page defeats Scott Hall with a diamond cutter in 12 36. Scott Hall with a 89 and Diamond Dallas Page with a 83. The storyline lost heat, sadly, and the match suffered. Uh, Could have used better announcing. I don't know who the hell I have on announcing at pay per views. But it is supposed to be one. He's got a bicycle, Dusty Rose, Bobby the Brain Heating, and Tony Schiavone. Uh, it's probably not. I uh, might have to change that. But Diamond Dallas Page with the crowd support. Match got an 82. Not bad. Not bad. But after the match, Diamond Dallas Page is celebrating with Kimberly. And Scott Hall comes in the ring and attacks DDP. He hits him with a razor's edge. 
I mean, an, an, an outsider's edge. I'm sorry. And uh, he, he traps Kimberly in the corner. And he grabs Kimberly and throws her over the shoulder. She's kicking and screaming, trying to get away. And Scott Hall kidnaps Kimberly. This time it got a 95. It advances storyline. Storyline gained some heat. Everything did good. Color commentary announcing. See, I don't understand that sometimes. Uh, but, you know, whatever. We move on to the next segment. Scott Hall kidnaps Kimberly Page. And it's Eddie Guerrero taking on Rick Steiner, and he defeats Rick Steiner with the Forex Blast in 1238. And about that had good wrestling and a decent reaction from the crowd. Eddie Guerrero makes defense number three of the WCW United States title. The match got a 75, not bad. Eddie Guerrero with a 78, not bad. And Rick Steiner with a 67. We move on to the next segment, which I believe it is a promo. It is. And it is basically the Giant and Lex talking to each other. And Lex basically saying, hey, man, I'm, I'm you know, like, I know that they like to cheat. They like to do their thing. They don't like to fight fair. I'm going to need to know that you got my back, you know, in this matchup. And Giant's like, yeah, of course, man, of course. <clears throat> he wishes... Lex Luger, the best of luck in his match, but all the luck did not help Lex Luger as Kevin Nash beats Lex Luger in 1234 by pinfall with a jackknife powerbomb. The match got an 82. Could, could have did better. I thought it was going to do a lot better. Um, Kevin Nash with a 89 and Lex with a 87. The Giant versus the Giant Killer storyline advances. Uh, the match deserved better announcing. That's probably what's hurting me. And um, Kevin Nash benefited from being a fan favorite here. We move on to the next segment. And it is the hype promo. It's probably Eric Bischoff. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Eric Bischoff on commentary. And um, we move on to our main event. And it is Hollywood Hogan taking on Macho Man Randy Savage. It shows, well, we really can't show these two men's past. But it the announcers put over that these two men have... Uh, uh, hatred for one another. It goes back very long. These two men do not like each other whatsoever. Hollywood Hogan and Macho Man Randy Savage. Randy Savage says that he is the one who's going to put an end to the NWO. And once Hogan is defeated, that is the end of the NWO as we know it. Will Macho Man Randy Savage beat Hollywood Hulk Hogan in a 87? Ah, man. I thought this was going to do a lot better. A lot, lot, lot better. Let's see why it did not do a lot better. Ah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. That announcing, boy. Um, and Hogan on the downfall. Uh, and a bout that had unbelievable heat and superb wrestling. Hollywood Hulk Hogan defeats Randy Savage by pinfall using underhand tactics. He, he cheats. Typical Hogan. Hollywood Hogan. Hollywood Hogan makes defense number one of the NWO World Heavyweight Championship. After the match, Hollywood Hogan goes to beat him. And WCW, Lex Luger and the Giant run to the ring to save Kevin Nash. But here comes the NWO of Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, and Six as they have pipes in their hand. And they come to the ring and they chase... They start beating up everybody, and all of a sudden, we hear bagpipes, and here comes Roddy Piper. We haven't seen Roddy Piper in a while, and he comes to the ring, and he clears out the ring. Yes, that's right. Roddy Piper clears out the ring, and these men hightail it as Roddy Piper saves the day. We're going to have to tune in to Nitro <coughs> to see where that goes, and we finish the show. Show got a 90. Increases are not bad, though. Not bad at all. Um... And increases our popularity in 10 regions. Let's make a speech. We are going to give Diamond Alice Page. We are going to give, uh, I believe they had match of the night. And we are going to give <coughs> <coughs> And we are also going to give one Chris Jericho. Some uh, we're going to compliment all of these on a good performance. Good good job, guys. Pleased, pleased, and pleased. 
Thank y'all for watching WCW Hog Wild. If you like the WCW safe so far, leave it a like. That's how I'm going to know that y'all want to see more of this and y'all want me to continue this safe. Over the ECW save, see, in the ECW save, Shawn Michaels won the Royal Rumble, but in this one, Bret Hart won the Royal Rumble. Buff Bagwell is now 100%. See, I wasn't lying. He did hurt himself. And uh, that is it, man. That is that is it. If you like WCW, save, and want to see more, leave it a like. Leave me a comment. Let me know that y'all are liking it. That is how I'm going to know that y'all want to see more WCW content over ECW. And if you like the ECW stuff, leave that a like. Leave that a comment. Let me know which one you like more. Let me know. And whoever wins... Whoever has the most likes in the comments will continue to go for it on to the save as the other save that I will do with the WWF save. If you are new to the channel and like what you see, the subscribe icon will be right here. And the WWF playlist will be right here. The WWF playlist is my pride and joy. That is my baby. I take my time with that one to make sure everything is right and all the storylines make sense. All that good stuff. That is my pride and joy, is the WWF save. That playlist will be right here. And if you want to go back and watch previous WCW episodes, that episode will be right here on Monday Nitro, leading up to WCW Hogwild. My name is Dylan the Villain, and like we always say here at pro -Am Gaming, if you can't play with each other, play with yourself. I will see y'all on the next one, guys. Later.